Today's puzzle, in my opinion, is an absolute beauty. So for starters, what is going on? We have four minor pieces. Black, meanwhile, has a queen and a rook, but also a pawn on d2. And that pawn is actually only one square away uh, from promoting either to a queen or maybe a knight in some cases where it would check our king. Meanwhile, the black king has somehow made its way from e8 to h1 all the way into our camp. Now let's jump in. This position, it is a forced mate in two. Now when I say forced mate in two, most of the time I tell you guys to look for checks. The problem here is that the checks are not too tempting. Now we have a bishop here that's looking at uh, the enemy king. But it is also looking at the enemy queen, which means that it is actually under attack. So we do have uh, a double check, which is also uh, a discover check. In this king, the case, the king has to move to h2, but incredibly, we are lost here. If we keep giving checks uh, by knight f1 check, for example, the king is simply going to escape. And if instead of giving checks, we can take the queen, but black is just going to get a new queen and this position, believe it or not, is lost for white. So let's go back uh, to the beginning and let's look at the move which probably I should have looked at first, to be honest, and that is to simply take the queen uh, that was hanging in the corner on a8. Now what's the problem here? If, uh, if now black gets a queen, then here we do checkmate uh, black the fastest way is to play knight d2, the discover check. The only way to block the check, the king cannot move because the bishop from b8 uh, is cutting off the king. So the only way to delay the check made by one move is to block and this is actually checkmate. So this is quite a tricky position to wrap your head around. But now let's see. So what happens if uh, we take the queen on a8, what black should do is black should take the bishop on b8. That bishop was a very important piece cutting off uh, the king's escape square on h2. And now the way here uh, for us to continue, because remember there is still uh, this pawn threatening to become uh, a queen. If we give a check here on g3, the king again is simply going to run and we can keep checking. Uh, but after uh, king h3, we, we are not going to find a mate. So the king is going to escape. And yes, we can stop this pawn from becoming a queen. Uh, but I'm going to stop my analysis here. The computer says this is plus one for white. It's probably uh, not enough to win. It's a crazy position, but it's certainly not a mate in two. So let's go back to the very starting uh, position. And now I will reveal something crazy. The first move is not actually a check, nor is it capturing the queen. The winning move here, and if you found this, uh, I really tap my head to you because um, this one, it's not an easy move to see. King g3 is the winning move. Not only is it not a check, we are giving up our bishop on b8 with check. We are also blocking the diagonal of the bishop. The problem is that we have a checkmate threat with knight uh, f2. So if black gets a queen, knight f2 is checkmate. That is the threat that black has to deal with. Now, if instead of getting a queen, if black gets a knight, that is still checkmate because not only was knight f2, this is actually a double check. So black cannot capture here. So getting a knight wouldn't help. So in this position, in fact, there is nothing that black can do uh, to stop knight f2 other than taking on b8 with a check which looks very powerful but here comes the stunning checkmate knight d6 knight d6 not only blocks the check but it is also a discovered check and now the king cannot move anywhere so very very well done if you spotted uh, the solution here. In fact, I talked a bunch about knight uh, f2. Knight f2, of course, was the threat with the bishop still here. So if in this position after uh, king g3, if black 
instead takes here then knight f2 is indeed the move and only in this case when it is a check the knight has to uh, step back to block the check and deliver a checkmate here i hope this wasn't too confusing it's a beautiful puzzle so feel free to take your time and play around with it a little bit more